Good morning. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> this is Women at the Round Table, and um, today we're going to um, be sharing um, about revival, spiritual revival. And we have a guest speaking here all the way from New York. Yes. Tynesha DuBose Young is going to be with us today. I think it's Nina's daughter. We're um, glad to have her here today um, with us. She's here for a couple of days. Um, but again, um, the topic today is spiritual revival. Um, I was, you know, I was talking, and actually, I was, I was thinking. I think we talked about it a lot last week, and that's what I put it, you know, my spirit revival, viral, because you know, everything that's happening right now, you know, um, the, with the, you know, with, with the pandemic, and and, and, and everybody's in, in a state of, of, you know, either fear or, you know, yeah, a panic, exactly. And um, so we have to get back to that. Um, to that first love, you know, when, when we were excited about, you know, God and we, you know, we would share the gospel and, and you know, and, and we were just, you know, happy to be a Christian, to, yeah. to know God and have, right you know, that, that relationship. Um, and now more than ever, I believe that we need to, um, to get to that place where we, um, you know, are not afraid to, to, to share the gospel but because so many, I was talking to my husband, so many people are dying yes. and, and, you know, and, and it's affecting so many families. You know, um, um, I, um, I know of, of, a, of, of a young person, um, you know, very young, and um, just found out that, you know, he passed away from, you know, from, from COVID. So, you're, I mean, this, this disease is, is no, you know, it's, th th there's no age. That's you know, right. th there's no age, and, and you may think, hey, I'm young, you know, I have, you know, so much to do, or I'm going to live my life, this not whatever, but no, it's hitting everybody, you know, and um, li you can literally be fine today and tomorrow it hits you and, and, and that's it. You know, so we have to be ready, um, you know, our spiritual um, lives, our spiritual walk um, with God and, um, and us as Christians, we, that's our place to, yeah. to, to spread the gospel and to um, let those know that, hey, you know, we need Christ that's right. um, in our lives. Um, Aminta and Victoria are tuning in. God bless you, God bless you. <laughs> Amen. Um, and I just want to read a, um, a, a verse here. It's in um, Second Chronicles. It says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and then and hear from heaven and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. So we're in a position right now where we need to cry out to God. We need to, um, you know, ask God to, you know, to just touch us, yes. you know, and touch those that are hurting. There's yes. so many people out there hurting, you know, and um, and um, again, that's something that, that we need to step up and, and do in these times. Yeah. And some are thinking in the wrong direction. Some people feel while well, we're young, it's looking like the world is trying to end. We need to do everything that we could possibly do to live out this time before it's too, but what you it should be thinking is, I better get my house right with God Amen. because we never know when he's going to say enough is enough. I'm coming for my bride. Guess what? We are his bride. We need to get our lives together. And what that means is get our house in order. If you thought, well, I'm going to wait until I'm married to give my soul to the Lord. Hello, you better make the Lord your husband right now. You better get your scriptures in. Get that soul ready, because what if the person who would be your husband is looking for a wife in Christ because he's got himself together? It's time for us to get into revival and revive ourselves, because in Habakkuk 3.2, it says, um, well, our guest is going to read that for us today. <laughs> our guest, Tiny Shay, Mrs. Young, is going to read that. And... <laughs> Lord, I have heard your fame. I stand in awe of your deeds. 
Lord, repeat them in our day and our time and make them known. And wrath, remember. When we asking of the Lord, that scripture is telling us some people think like like he's a they think they, they did that series on the um on the TV called Jesus Christ Superstar. Like he's some superstar that walked through the town and did this and did that. He is an actual spirit human that went and really did those things. Those were not just theatrics. He really did heal those people. He really will heal our land if we will repent and call on him the way we're supposed to. Amen. So if we're asking of him to please repeat those things in our time, it means you should be living and having him in your life the way he they were in his times. And you hold, we hold God accountable for everything. Everything that happens, we say, well, how could God have let that happen? So they're holding God, I'm sorry, I'm moving the mic. <laughs> holding God responsible for everything. What if he's holding us responsible for how we're living our lives right now and we're calling him in? You should be calling him into a vessel that's ready for him. We are calling on revival Amen. today. Yes. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Um, we have to be, you know, convicted and we have to, you know, to cry out to God. You know, in these times um, right now, and, and, and we need to confess, yes. you know, our, our sins and, and really, um, you know, from, from, from our heart, you know, ask God to, you know, to... To forgive us, and yes. you know, and, and just uh, as you were saying before, to heal our land because right now there's uh, uh, again there's, there's there's so many people um, um, out there, um, you know, friends, friends, family yeah. um, that have gone through this. You know, uh, there's some that have you know, like like yourself, my husband, you know, have gone through you know this the the, the disease and everything, but God saw this through. Yeah. You know, we you know we prayed and and I mean not. Not to say that those other people didn't, but yeah. you know we need to to, to to really come before the Lord and um, and open our hearts and um, and and put on that armor of God, you know um, his his his, uh, his protection, you know and um, and once we do that, I mean He is with us, yes. you know He is He's always with us, but uh, uh, again we have to 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 take that initiative. You know, and um, and and we have to just go ahead and spread the gospel. I'm going to share something that my daughter shared with me yesterday. Um, she actually had a dream. Uh, with one of our um, my my grandmother-in-law's um, um, sister, she's you know passed away a couple of years back. But um, she came to her in, in in a dream, and she said that she was so beautiful. She had a beautiful you know red gown on. She had gold and and everything. But she in in the dream she was walking on 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 campus. Um, my daughter's walking on campus, and, and, and she saw her, she's like, what are you doing here? And she was spreading the gospel. She was talking about, you know, God and, 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 and stuff like that, and then, um, and then she was, uh, you know, just, you know, just, just, just talking to her. And then, um, and then, and as she, you know, as, as she, you know, the, the dream goes out and she, she, she was walking away, she said, um, my life is, is fabulous now. You know, and to me, I mean, I got goosebumps when she said that, because to me, that means, you know, we have to, to um, live right. Our ultimate goal is to, you know, to be with the Heavenly Father, yeah, yeah. where everything is going to be so fabulous and so, yeah. so, you know, wonderful. So it's our duty. Like, she was just sitting out there on campus. You know, our kids, students, everybody needs to hear the yeah. word. She was just sitting out there, just, just spreading the gospel. And you know, and, and, and sometimes I was telling, um, you know, Pastor Ben, and he was like, you know, sometimes God brings you things in dreams, in dreams. To, right. to, 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 to make you, um, you know, aware or, or, or bring you back yeah. to that, to, you know, to that original state where, you know, where we were happy to talk about God and this and that, you know, yeah. and, and, and of all the wonderful things that he's done. And um, so to me, when she told me that, and she was talking to me, and she was, you know, she was like crying. I was at work, it and um, I said, because it hit. I was like, you know, and 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 the, the translation that I got from that was that that we need to be about God's business. We need to 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 say, you know, the word. Yeah. You know, to all nations, to you know, and and, and in her state, she would be that she was in school, to to our students, everyone that we come in contact with. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to spread that gospel because our ultimate reward is up in heaven, right. where everything is going to be fabulous. Right. And in school with all the different children, every nationality, every nation, everything 
is there. And a lot of people think, well, the children, and I realized it when I said it a second ago, when I said they're our future, it's, we can't think way in the future. We have to think they are our now. They are our right now because your daughter spreads the word right now. They pray with other students right now, and God bless her. She is a direct spit out the mouth of her father and mother. And she is... Hi, Rhonda. Rhonda, God bless you. God bless you. And she is spreading the word. She's not waiting until she's an adult, because you never know how long you're going to make it these days with the people on the road doing whatever, whatever they're going to do. But what I wanted to ask, bringing on that topic of our guest, I didn't want to leave her out of anything. So what I wanted to say is, back in New York a while back, I remember you having a discussion with me. I, I should have went over it with you. So sorry I didn't go over it with you. Um, but you were telling me that back then, you and some people, there were homeless people, and you guys used to hand stuff out to them. It was a, was it a Christian organization? What was that? Uh, my co-worker, now she's my co-worker, but she's my best friend from high school. Um, her church, once, a, maybe twice a month, they have all the church members bring as much as they can. And they just go down to where the most homeless are, which at the time, probably still now, but it's uh, around Madison Square Garden, 34th Street. Yes. Um, it was just called Midnight Cry. Like, but wow. it, it wow. the name of the church is focused on Christ. Amen. But um Amen. they they yeah, they all get together, they have bags of food and, and underwear and socks uh -huh. and I believe like a few dollars, five dollars or something. But in the bag. Yeah, it's like a I guess a little to go bag. Um, and we well I, I joined them once but they do this every few months and um, mm -hmm. they just is a homeless guy sleeping, they'll put a blanket over him and just leave the bag there. Like, and then when he wakes up, he feels blessed. Yeah, yeah. And the good thing is we didn't have cameras everywhere to make them feel bad. That's so funny. Just, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, but what I was wanting cool. to ask about that is, even in doing that, do you think that being that it was a church giving out that stuff, did any of those people turn around and ever come to God, or did they just give thanks mm -hmm. and go on? Yeah, a lot of them will say thank you and... There's a few people, I don't know if it's who was helped at the moment, but there's a few people who, when they give their testimony, how oh, I was homeless and correct, yeah. I was, was met homeless. by the first first lady or this member or this sister, and a few of the people who were homeless at the moment, they did come and gave a little testimony. You'll see them every few Sundays, mm -hmm. but the specific people on 34th Street, I don't know. But, yeah, they would just get together and give out food and they would give, um, I guess, what, um, I mean, socks, little stuff that they would give. Yeah, yeah, we wouldn't yeah. think it's a big deal. Exactly, thing. but to be honest, yes, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a big deal. We wouldn't consider that to be a big thing, right. but little things like socks and things like that, there are people who to keep have, up, yeah. who, not to say nothing against anyone, but there are people who have turned away from God and got into the world and the world circumstances, figuring that God turned to his back, so you're turning your back. You're not turning your back. You shouldn't turn your back on what's good for you. That's the goodness. The goodness of God is, is how we're living today. But people have turned their backs and turned away from things. And then they wind, can wind up on the street. It is time to come back. It is time to turn about face and come back to Christ now. He is our everything. And that, that the will of God. I'm not sure. But the will of God is for us to stay in his world because for yeah, everything yes. for everything that's good for us we should say thank god for everything that didn't go our way we should say thank you god it's not our time or could they say um what did they say delay is not denial Amen. it Amen. means yes. that it was not time because i would say some people you give them a million dollars they always had a million dollars you give a million dollars you don't know if it's going to go to Amen. Work back to God and to the church, but we do know that if we, if someone in Christ receives a million dollars or something that way, we should say, God, I'm tithing your church, and then you think of your family. But think of God. You want God? Think of me, God. Think of me. You think of yes, Him. Yeah. 
Think of him, amen? Think of God, amen? Because this church would have so much other things added to it. We wouldn't ask you guys, we would, we would just reap the benefits of the Lord, but amen. Natasha wants amen. to give you the scripture and tell you you want. <laughs> Amen. And um, and just to in, in, in what Tanisha was saying, um, you know, we're we're planting that seed. So she said that she doesn't know if they come to the Lord or whatever, but yeah. we're planting that seed. You yes. know, what they do with that, you know, is you know that it's you know, God is, is the one that's gonna water it and, and yes. like you may not, you know, know, you know, right now and then that, that seed that you planted, what that person is doing right now. But you planted that seed and that, their lives, yeah. you know, may have changed. You know, may may have changed. So that's what we need to to, to, to do. You know, we may not um, physically see it, or 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 or, or we you know we, we you know we give something and, and somebody may not say you know what we want to hear like you know thank you whatever. But we're planting that seed. Amen. They go home or, or they go you know where, where, wherever and and um and that's and that's in them. You know, what I'm saying wow that that person took out the time to come and, and give me this. You know, so, I mean, so you may not think that, hey, you know, I don't know if they came to the Lord or whatever, but God knows. You know, and as long as we're planting that seed, God will do the rest. Yes. You know, and those lives, um, you know, may, may be changed. Because sometimes, you know, you, you hear like maybe, you know, years later, you know, on, 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 the, on, on TV or whatever, and somebody gave their testimony. And they're like, you know, one day, you know, I was homeless or whatever, and, and this person just gave me this. And their they lives will transform. Yeah. Exactly. And their lives will transform. So we have to to, 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 to just give with our heart, not not expecting anything um, yes. in, in return. Just give with our heart and um, and do what God has commanded us to do, yeah. which is to spread his gospel, to spread the love, you know, and um, and, and, and God will take care of it, you know, of, of, of everything else. Um, you know, so um, in saying that, uh, 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 again, we just have to continue to do God's work. You know, um, we here at, at the church, you know, we spread the gospel over the, you know, the internet and stuff like that. But, you know, each individual, one of us, you know, as we go in, in, in our daily lives at work, um, at Walmart, everybody's at Walmart. Right. <laughs> at Walmart, um, doctor's office, or, or wherever, you know, just, just, you know, spread, you know, God's word. And uh, it's funny because I, I had some, some coins in, 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 in my bag. And um and I had handed some out um with her last week and I gave it to someone and she was like, Wow, you know, she was so touched that I thought of her enough to give her that and and, and it and it kind of just changed her, you know, her, her thinking, yes. you know, her mind. And um so that's what we have to do, just just you know, just just spread God's word. And by you know, by by any means, whether it's speaking, whether it was something that we do, um, you know, just a small gesture, whether you you know make the, make a phone call to someone. Um, you know, just to let them know that you love them, that you care um, about them. You know, amen, amen. And let them see um, the love of Christ in you. Let them see, you know, Christ in you. Because that's what we strive for, to be Christ-like. <laughs> amen, amen. Amen, amen. <laughs> I wanted to read something from the Ecclesiastes. I'm going to borrow it. No, no, please. Okay, she read it. Um, I Amen. wanted to say, we were talking about what the things that it is time for. And I feel that it is, it say it's a time for everything. Amen, yes. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. There is a time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. And there we go, I'm going to jump down to where there is a time to weep and laugh, to dance and to scatter stones. But in these times, it is time for revival in Christ. Amen. It is time to remember all the reasons why we felt something so good in us that we wanted to give our lives to God and our souls to God and want our kids to turn to God. Those times have not ended Amen. Those times have renewed. There is a thing that I was looking at said that in the history of revival, they considered that to be the awakening. It is time for us to wake up, awake all those feelings in the spirit that we prayed out to, that we turned away from. 
it is time to turn back to it again because we want our kids to come away from times of, of struggle and heartache and robbery and grief and come up in Amen. times of peace in Christ. I wanted it for my kids. She wants it for her daughter. She wants it for her daughters. And he wants it for his son and daughters. He, our Father God, wants it for us. He wants us to know that our his will for us is to be in his will, to be under his glory. The glory of God and everything he has done is to add to our life story. If I thought this camera would catch me, I'd stand up and say it again. God's glory that he gave to us and mercy, we did not deserve it. There's a lot of things we did not deserve, but it's to add to our story and our testimony as we come to him and say, thank you, God, for all that you've done for me. And this is my story. So that the one who hadn't thought that he was enough to give, they would say, you know what? I want what she had. I want a piece of God. Raise their hands to God and say, God, you have me for the rest of my life. No expiration date. Give your God now in times of revival before you wake up and see that all the people in Christ, where are they? Why are they gone? Wake up because this is the time of revival right now where you can say, I'm glad I got on board with God when I did. Because now is the time of revival, am I right? Amen, amen, amen. And you know what? We were made to, uh, we were created to, to, to serve Him. Yes. You know, and that's what He wants. He, he, he wants us to give Him all the glory. You know, so, so, sometimes, you know, things may not, um, you know, turn out the way we want it to. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm speaking, you know, personally. And, um, but you know what? I thank God that in spite of that, because you know what? What doesn't break you? will make you stronger and will build your faith. And that is so important that, you know, we, we, we go through life and uh, um, situations happen, um, you know, unfortunate, you know, circumstances or whatever. But you know what? That builds us. That builds us up. And we should not, um, um, you know, just change our, our frame of mind and get bitter or, or, or get angry. Um, you know, we should just take that and say, you know, Lord, what do you want me to take from this? What, what do you want me to learn from what I'm going through right now? You know, and, um, and, 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 and just give him thanks, yeah. you know, um, in, 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 in spite of, and, and I go back to my, you know, to, to my daughter, so many times she, you know, she tells me, you know, about, you know, things that happen, you know, in school and, 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 and just in her life, and, and I'm thinking of being, you know, college and all that. And, um, but she sees the hand of God in everything, you know? And, and, and that brings me joy that, that she's able to, um, to, to, um, to say that, you know, from, from, you know, from, from a, a upbringing and, and, and what we've taught her, that she comes to realize that, hey, you know, God is ultimately in control of what happens, um, you know, in, in my life. And, and, and he's blessed her, you know, and, um, and she tells me time and time again, Mom, look what God, you know, and, and that's how she speaks. You know, look, you know, look, look what God and, and, and look what, I, you know, with, with school and, you know, finance and everything. And God is just, he's just an awesome God, but we just have to do our part. Yes. You know, continue to, to let others know that, you know, life is good, you know, knowing Christ. You, you, you know, th things are not always going to be, you know, um, you know, happy or, or whatever, but knowing Christ, you're able to, 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 to go through things um, a, a little easier. You know, and, and he gives you that peace and that comfort that you need at, at that, you know, at, at, at those moments in your life where you think that, you know, hey, the worst is, is, is come and, and the world, I mean, the, the, yeah, the, the world is coming down on you, the walls are closing in or whatever, but God gives you that peace, you know, that peace that you can um, go on. And, and, and again, that's us to give our testimony of, of, of what God um, can do. You know, in our, in in our lives, you know, being a Christian yet, you know, it's not always going to be, um, oh, you know, praise God and, and you know everything is going well. No, you know, that's when the enemy comes in and he tries to, you know, to 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 get you away from that. Yeah. But we have to realize that you know that that God is bigger than anything that we may be going through. You know, sometimes I I, I mean I posted on on um, on Facebook. I, I've gotten into you know like a habit of you know just po posting like positive. Um, um, you know, affirmations and positive things out there because in the times that we're living in now, um, everybody's so like, you know, either down or, or you know, things, things happen in life, but we just have to pick ourselves up. 
and know that God is, you know, God is there for us, you know, and, and, and he will see us through, you know, amen, amen. So, God. <laughs> so how do you see God stepping in? Like, is there things that you want God to step in on in your life, like the move you want to make or the things you're trying to get away from and come to a better life or just tell us um, about it? Amen. There's there's things. Um, well, I I always tell my husband everything happens for a reason. That's right. Now, although I'm a woman, I did not want any kids. Uh, now I want any children. I really did. I didn't think I had a big chance. I did not want any children. But um, I always tell him everything happens for a reason. So ever since having my daughter. Now you see how, I don't know if it's just the Bronx or just the world in general, but you see how, like, the danger everywhere. Yeah. So, I, I told my husband, like, you know, I think we should go back to Florida because the Bronx is just like, is <laughs> is is you see, like, the drive-bys and the kidnapping, oh, and God. this is like, yeah. was it always like this? And we yeah. just, we just, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. We did, yeah. So, until you have kids, you and I don't, I don't want to say naive, but when you don't have any children, you it's just, when you don't have any kids, you just, uh, it, it's, I'll take the risk. Yeah, that's fine. I can do this. I'll be yeah, fine. Yeah. If I don't, then I'll stay on someone's couch and whatever. But mm -hmm. now when you have a kid, it's like, well, uh, we, we should stay in this yeah. area, you know. So exactly. that, if that was God's will and giving me a kid, then hey. it worked because <laughs> I, I was even told I couldn't have kids. So, oh, so, so yeah. when, when you get told by three or four different doctors that you can't have children, and if you do this and you can't have kids, but if you do that, maybe, and so oh, when you end up good. pregnant, it's like, oh, oh, everything happens for you. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. exactly. So, I don't know if mentally maybe I was naive or reckless or however maybe God saw fit, but Amen. he squeezed in and got me pregnant. So, oh, like the oh, virgin God, God, right? not Mary, so. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. But, um, but yeah, that was the best thing. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how think how that he squeezed in because before my, my daughter I didn't see anything really, really wrong with the Bronx in New York. You know, but now it's just nothing like, oh, no, 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 see certain things as okay or being adjusted to that. So it's like, you know what? Florida to me looked a little better. Let's go back. So God certainly needs to be in there because Amen. Amen. to me, we probably still be in the Bronx. <laughs> but he made a way, exactly, but he made a way, and, and, and you know what, sometimes, you know, we, we, we make plans, we made all these plans, and, and uh, but God said, you know, Herb, <laughs> exactly, and then he, you know, and, uh, and, and it's all for the best, and then, and then he will, he will give you what you need to, you know, to, to, um, to make that, you know, that, 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 that happen, and, um, and like you said, nothing happens by chance. Um, everything that happens, and that's how I see things. And you know, when 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 things happen, and 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 I mean, just a little testimony about our vehicle. You know, mm. it broke down, and, and we were out without for a couple of weeks. And thank God, I had my you know my, my daughter, and uh, she was able to you know take it back and forth to work or whatever. But um, you know, and nobody knew what, what I was going through because I was still acting as you know me. That's right. But it's you know it's God. It's God. You know, he 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 gives you that um that um. He gives you what you need. Yes, right. <laughs> you know that 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 peace and knowing that you know what I'm going through this now, but you know it's going to be okay, and and it's okay. You know he opened the door and and we were able to you know to, to get a vehicle. And I just thank God, yeah. you know, because through that through all that we were still faithful. And you he know, didn't even pour it out long for you to suffer. He didn't make you suffer long because you're faithful <laughs> servants. He it's wanted to bless you. He wanted you to testify about it, and he blessed you right away. Now it broke down. I, miles from home where you had to walk you right at the house where he put you where it's still comfortable but he wanted you to see every day see what broke down and see what I will do and God did it and because you know what it, it could have been like a, like a little worse you know it, it, he could have been maybe on, on the high because then yeah. home he could have been on the highway and something you know could have happened so you know I, I look at every, every little detail 
you, you, you know, um, it happened right in front, like you said, right. right in front of the house. So he was able to just, you know, walk in the house, you know, we have to move it, whatever, but it was right in front of the house. Yeah. You know, his his life was, you know, was protected, you know, yeah. thank God nothing happened. You know, so we, we have to look at the at the at, at, at the little things. I mean, God looks at details. You know, he works out the details. Yeah. You know, sometimes we, we know we might not know hey, why is this happening right now. But he, he, he got it, he got you. That's right. You know, God's God's got you. You know, and I and, and, and I just thank God for um you know for his you know for his faithfulness and um and, and, and again, we, we're going to go through struggles. We, yeah. We're going to, they, they're going to be there. And, yeah. and, and sometimes, you know, some days worse than others. But you know what? God is, God, is, yeah. is God, God, but God. That's all I can say, but God. You know, and he will see us through. You know, do that. What we've been hearing he has. Um, from our pastor lately, you'll be hearing us say it. You're putting on your glasses. You're putting on your sweater. You're making sure you put your shoes on. Put your armor on. Put God on before you go out. Say, Lord, I, I, I even pray for the house when it's empty. I say, bless our homes in our absence, Lord. If you could watch on your camera and you say, uh, who is that in the living room, honey? They're like, the living room? Who are you talking you, you, Someone's in your house. You have to pray for God to bless your home. Bless your lives. Put God on. You're blaming for everything anyway that goes wrong. So he's going to hold us accountable for stuff. You need to keep, put your guard on and keep your armor on. Amen? Amen. Amen. And you know, as Pastor was saying, and I think he's going to continue speaking on tomorrow, but yeah, we need to put on a, a hold of the armor of God, you know, so because the, the, the enemy is out there. He's out there to, you know, to, to throw stuff at us and yeah. situations, circumstances, everything, you know, our family, our finances, everything. But you know what we... God is just stand firm and stand on His word yes. that um, that He's gonna see us through, and um, and that's how I, I I live my life, you know. And, and 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 I just thank God that He's given me that spirit to like, you know what, this is happening, but you know what, I'm good, you know. God God's got it, and He's gonna, you know, He and He takes things, I mean, and He turns situations around at that midnight hour, yes. turn it right around, yes, and right around. and right around. <laughs> You know, so um, yes, you know, sometimes I worry. I mean, because that's the human part of us. But um, when I come to, you know, to my senses, I'm like, you know, God, you got this. Yeah, yeah. You know, and um, you know, and, and 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 things turn around, and and, and, yeah. and the blessings just, you know, come down. But yeah. we have to just get in that in that mindset, that frame of mind, that you know what, we have to just honor Him. I know it doesn't look good right now, but God, I'm going to give you praise. I'm going to thank you, anyhow. We take, we, we you know, it's our nature as women. When something happens, we want to take care of it. But sometimes we have to say, Lord, I'm giving you the burdens. Mm -hmm. And always go to the word of God. Because for every situation that happens, there's a word about it. I looked in the back of my Bible the other day. I know my husband was saying, you idiot, that's always been there. But I looked back there and I said, they got something back here. But when you're upset about this, but when you want to do that, I was like, oh, well, you don't have Google. yeah, in my head, I was like, that's the concordance, <laughs> dummy. But I don't go back there. I just look for it. He wants, God wants us to search the word. I'm not going to say there's a cheat sheet in the back for you, but I went back there. And I said, Carmody Banks, God, God bless, bless you, Carmody. God, God bless, bless you. you. I never forget. Every time I hear your name, I always remember you. From being that, that usher that needed instruction, and you you say, Here's the book, baby. And I, I still have that book, Miss Evans. I still have the book. I'm going to see you one day, kiss you on the cheek, and say, I still got the book. God bless you. God is so good. When there's things for us to know, He put a book. But when He wants you to search through and study Him, he, He'll make it so that you forget everything and look to His Word. Amen. Amen. Exactly, everything's there, and you know sometimes it, we even like you know, we can use the, the Google and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Also, I mean, so I mean, everything is in is in is in the Word. Yes, that that's what it comes down to the, the the Word of God, His Word. You know that stands that you know no no matter what you know what happens, His Word doesn't change. Never change. He He's not one to lie. So everything is in the Word. You know, and yes. we just have to trust Him enough. Yes. We have to trust them enough that, you know, hey, God is in control. Amen. Trust the Lord always. Trust Amen. Come and eat Just what I was saying. Amen. Yep. God bless you, my sister. <laughs>
we think alike, amen. But yeah, we need to trust God in 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 in, in, in everything that you know that, that, that we do and, and, and that's and that's how I, I live my life. That's how we should live our lives. Yeah. And for those who wanna continue seeing us we can wanna to continue with the different beautiful, beautiful backgrounds and you wanna come one day say, I have a story that I would love to tell with them. Come talk to us about some kind of stuff, something that God has blessed in your community. Something, some beautiful, miraculous, not even miraculous, but some awesome thing that, that yeah. touched your heart. And you want to come on and join us, you call and speak to them. They're going to give you the number. But if you go to, go to Cash App with the dollar sign, Love Wings Ministries, Amen. it helps us with donations to help it going. This is how um, how God works and the things that God wants us to do to keep his word going. You may have to give into his one of his houses, one of his places where it keeps going and going, where we keep bringing on guests that will bring on their testimonies and tell where God has brought them from. And any amount that you donate is totally, totally appreciated. And we thank you. We thank you. And we actually thank um, um, you know those that, that, that have given um, um, Maria Pinto, Maria Pinto, and um, you know what God and, and God just provides. You know, yes. as as we need last week when we were on uh, doing service that uh, it kind of went out on us, but uh, but God provided. You know, and, and and we were able, we were blessed. You know, with with the you know with the with the you know the offense and stuff. And we just thank God. Um, for that, that you know that that, that the, the need is there, and, and he uses um, those um, you know in his kingdom to yes. you know to, to help one another, you know to help one another, and, 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 and again, and, and we just thank God, we thank you know full gospel and all those out there, um, and all those that you know that that, that tune in um, yes, and um, and listen to us, you know, um, God is just good, yes. you, you, you know, and, um, and and sometimes we may think you know. They take things, um, you know, for granted yes. or whatever. But um, but God is faithful. God is faithful um, in, in, in in all things, and we just um, you know, we just gotta give Him thanks. We we just gotta you know wake up in in, in, in the morning, you know, just Thank give God. God, you know, Amen. give God thanks. Mm. You yes. know, I have uh, in in in, uh, in 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 the house there's a there's a little sign that says um be you know grateful when you know wake up, yeah. and 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 I look at it and I'm like you know I'm grateful. You know, God, I, I was able to open my eyes today. You know, um, yes. um, you know, I'm, I'm able to, you know, make, you know, go to work or, or whatever. You know, He's He's provided. Yes. You know, God is a God of provision. God is a God. God is a, He's a healer. You know, and um, and again, we just thank God um, for the opportunity to be able to, you know, to, to come up and just to spread the gospel. And we just need to take that beyond the four walls and um, and, and and just give, you know, give God. What he deserves, yes. you know, all the honor, and um, and let others know of his glory and of who he is, um, you know, in, in 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 our lives, and our lives to dictate who we are, you know. And we gotta remember that at all times, you know. Pe people are looking up to us, and people are looking at us yeah. um, to to to, right. to see, hey, we go, okay. So this was thrown at her. How, how she she reacted to that? <laughs> exactly, you know. And we just have to be mindful of that. And you know what? Just thank God. That's right. Just think, I know what I'm going through this right now. I don't know why, but you know what? You're gonna see me through, and He does. And He does. And He does time. time and time again. So we just um, again, do we just have to be, you know, grateful, and 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 then we just have to get back to, to we have to restore, you know, yes. uh, that that, that we, we we gotta get back to that to that to that first love when you know when we you know accepted God and and, and we knew about you know. Um, who he was and, and how he changed our lives. Right. We have to get back to that. We have to share that with others. Um, that's the, the commission that we need to you know, spread the gospel. And um, and I will continue to do that. That's right. <laughs> you know, and that's what we all you know should should um, should continue doing. And and, um, and God will just bless. Oh, you know, He will bless. And um, and again, I want to thank Aisha for being here today. She was here for a couple of days, but she came out. She took her time out of her little vacation. To be with us this morning, and I thank her for that. Amen. And um, and you can sleep now. Um, so those that, that that are listening out there, if you do not know the Lord, um, it's it's very easy. Just you know, just open your heart, ask the Lord to just um, you know, to just come into your heart. You know, you, you may be struggling, you may feel, you, you may be feeling, you know, maybe depressed, down. Just ask God. You know, Lord, open. I'm opening my heart to you. Come into my heart, and, 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 and he will give you that peace, that comfort that you need. 
and he will surround you with those that um, that will be able to to, to, to help you and, and to build you um, and to be in um, who he meant for you to be. That's right. You know, and we just have to trust the process. Trust the process. <laughs> Amen. And, um, and and God is just faithful. Um, so again, from Love Brings Ministries, um, closing and closing. Okay. What I wanted to say is. For those who feel that because of situations that you may have left God, been with God, got disgusted and left God, we have three R's for you. We want you to renew your spirit in Christ. It's never too late. Don't let someone think, oh, you'll never forgive you for that. You already know that's a lie. We ask God to renew you today. We ask God for those who feel, well, we are the clay. He's the, he's the molder. We ask the creator who is the molder to reshape us today. Reshape us into what you would have me be today, Lord. What would you what would you have me do today? Lord, I keep moving my mic. I love my arms. But we ask God to renew, to restore, revive you. I know I said three, but there's more. To renew, revive, reshape, because this is the time of the biggest art, revival. We ask you to let let this time of revival include you. We include you in our thoughts of revival as we ask in prayer. God, we thank you for our, our listeners today, for the people who are watching us today, for the people who counted on us to give them that word to uplift them from you. Amen. The word you gave us, we give to those who are watching Amen. today. Amen. We ask you to take God in as she gave that prayer today. We hope you took in that word of prayer and brought you to our family, which is the royal priesthood where you wear that crown. Yes. We invite you and thank you for joining our family today. And remember, as our pastor say, did you put on God today? We thank Amen. you. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. 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 I used to always say that, um, you know, similar to what you've been saying already, mm -hmm. believe in God's plan so much that when things go wrong, you believe it's part of the plan. Amen. So, mm -hmm. You never know what you can do until you try. Amen. So, Amen. You know, if you focus on, you know, I, I pray about this. I pray for a new apartment. I've been here for two years. Uh, what's going on? Just pray for also the process. Good, bad, you know, not different, but if something don't go your way, just believe it's part of the process. Every time I get, every time I, you know, I always tell myself, maybe it's a, the weird part, but if I'm, Miss a train, or if I miss a bus, I always say, "Well, maybe it was going to be an accident." You know, yeah, what I mean? yeah, <laughs> right. is maybe it's a half glass full thing. Yeah, you know, yeah, but yeah. I always say, "Oh, maybe you know, you get evicted. Maybe someone needs the apartment a little more than you." Hey, hey. <laughs> and he got there. That's a nice way to say. You know, so they put you in a shelter. Now you can save. You know, so <laughs> <laughs> I, I try to look at the positive things. You know, yeah, but you never know. Trust the process. Exactly. Exactly. And he will, and he, and he will, he, he's gonna, he'll bring you to something, and, and he'll bring you through it. If he brings right. you to something, he'll bring you through it. That's right. You know, and through, um, exactly, through. exactly. Yeah. And we want to thank yeah. the yeah. in the background over here, yeah. Yeah. for being with us here today. Uh, oh, so. Amen, amen. And, um, and and we just thank God today. And um, we just want you to tune in tomorrow. Um, we have a service at uh, 11.30. Um, we usually go on the air. And... Um, Again, just you know, just tune in and um, leave comments if you and see, Exactly, exactly. You could also you know, go ahead and leave comments now as well. But yeah, but tune in tomorrow, um, eleven thirty. We're gonna have service, praise and worship, and uh, Pastor Benny is gonna bring forth, um, you know, the word that God, um, you know, has given him for, you know, for for tomorrow. And uh, but again, I just wanna thank you for um, actually tuning in uh, at this time, whether you see it now or or some may, you know, scroll, you know, later on, you know. Um, again, I just thank you for actually just stopping and um, and listening. Um, to you know, to what God um, has us put you know before us today. Pray for and, us. Um, we love, love you. you. Amen. <laughs> and, sh and, and, and 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 just share God's love. You know that yeah. that's that, that, that's what it's about. You know, share his 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 um, who he is. Yes. You know who he is, and um, and, and 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 let your life um, be a testimony. Yes. Um, to others that that you you may be, you know come in, you know contact with or whatever, because um, that's what we are we're supposed to be. You know, um, you know, be examples, yes. um, and, and and spread the gospel. Yes. You know, amen, amen, amen. So at this time, um, we just want to say, God bless you. Have a bless blessed you. week, and we'll see you in a couple weeks. Bye.
Amen. 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 Amen.